Scotland's a small country of only five million people, but the Scottish whisky industry is right at the heart of its economy. It's our second largest export, 4.3 billion pounds every year shipped to 200 markets, supporting something like 35,000 jobs. So it's important not just for the Scotch whisky industry, but for the economy as a whole, that the industry continues to grow, but it does that in a sustainable way. Uh, working with companies like Dewar's, the Scotch Whisky Association is implementing an award-winning industry-wide environment strategy, the first of its kind here in Scotland. And what we're trying to do is to reduce our emissions, uh, increase our investment in renewables, and do that at the time when production is growing. So for example, the companies across the industry have collaborated in setting targets up to 2050, a real long-term view as to what they want to do to minimise their impacts. So we want to move away from fossil fuels so that up to 80% of our energy use is from non-fossil fuel sources. By reducing our carbon emissions, we believe we are playing our part in making the environment in Scotland sustainable. And obviously a sustainable environment is important to us because we use natural ingredients when we're making our whisky. Whether it's barley or whether it's water, the natural environment is very important to us and we like to leave the environment in the same condition we found it. We want to make sure that we minimise our packaging as far as possible whilst maintaining quality so that we can reduce our emissions again to the environment. And increasingly the industry is looking at understanding, measuring and managing its impact in areas such as water use in terms of sustainable cask supply and looking at the peatlands in which we uh, enjoy different qualities for our whiskies. So it covers a whole range of different areas and you have companies of all different sizes working together to plan for the future, to set strategy and then to implement it because that is good news for the Scotch whisky industry and hopefully will make it sustainable for another 500 years to come.